Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today I want to talk to you about planting, production, and picking your greenhouse greens. The greenhouse is small and this is probably the first time I'm actually fully on video, but I really don't have any way else to shoot this. These are my greens. It's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. And this is actually the first salad that I'm pulling out of the garden. And what I wanted to show you real quickly is what's coming out of here. These are onion greens. They're great. Uh, cool weather vegetables to grow in a greenhouse. This is some lettuce. Swiss, Swiss chard, red Russian kale, this is another kale, this is our red cabbage which I cut down in strips and put that into a salad. So I'm actually getting my first salad, my first production out of the greenhouse on Thanksgiving which is kind of cool. The other thing that I do, and I'm actually going to cut this video and then I'll show you everything that's in here, but these are lettuces that I'm growing in styrofoam cups or recycled containers like this one and they're actually sitting in a tray I bottom water these they sit in a tray I fill it with water and nutrients and this is how I'm growing sort of my baby lettuces and all I do for this and this is what I wanted to show you um, which was difficult to do because typically I, I hold the camera is just cut the greens just like that try and get it all in the bowl and this is a great way to have cut and come again lettuces which basically if you leave the roots in here and you put them back into the uh, the water and the nutrients they will grow new leaves. Over here I have spinach which grows really well and again these are all cool weather vegetables they grow really well in uh, cold weather. The nights here have been getting into the 20s the days are you know still above freezing but it's getting cold so I couldn't grow peppers and I, you can actually see the remains of some of my pepper plants. I couldn't grow any warm weather vegetables like peppers, tomatoes, cucumbers, and all that. So here in Maryland Zone 7, I'm going to be using a greenhouse, I think, in the future for cool weather crops. And I'll probably be able to keep this greenhouse up until December before I have to start putting in a space heater. And, and maybe I'll do that, maybe I won't. But let me just show you what you can grow. Spinach. This is endive. This is one planting method. I just scatter in uh, the green seeds into the shoebox size container. Now that these are about an inch tall, I will just spoon them out and put them into different containers. I did that over here with some red lettuce. This is arugula. This was actually dug up from my yard and just put right into here. Again, more lettuces. These are beet. Beet greens are great for the garden. Over there are bunching onions. I have containers down here of kale. The red cabbage that I showed you and again I just cut out strips of the red cab or I just cut off leaves of the red cabbage and then I cut strips and put that into the salad. Swiss chard is in five gallon buckets this is the bright light variety and this came out of my earth bed too I actually just dug it up put it into these containers and these will grow pretty well um, probably through the whole year. Chard is really really um, well, what's the right word now that I lost it? It's just a great growing vegetable that can take the heat, the cold weather. Um, it's just very hardy is actually what I was looking for. It's a hardy, hardy plant that you can't grow, go wrong with. These are peas. Peas are actually great to grow because you can pick the leaves and put them right into your, your salad too. These are kind of small. I needed to probably start them earlier. Um, we'll see if they make it. You can also grow herbs. That's oregano down there. The oregano is doing really, really well. I'm growing onions just for the greens, and you can see how I planted them. Just drop these bulbs I actually dug out of my garden and just put into here and let them grow. Over on this side is the lettuce that I'm growing basically in a tray of water and nutrients. And you can just, you can see how big they are. I've been cutting lettuce out of here. Just Put your lettuce into containers, drop them into the tray, feed and water them from the bottom, and I'll be cutting a lot of this down to make my salad today. You can also grow garlic. Um, I don't know if it'll bulb or not next year, but it's definitely uh, growing greens and that, that they have a great garlic taste too. More arugula. This is endive again that'll be spread out into other containers. I'm growing spinach down there in five gallon buckets. More beets for the greens. And this is just my standard way of planting uh, the greens. I just put them in cells or I do it in the uh, shoebox size container. Let them get to the size I want and transfer them into whatever container I want. Maybe they'll go into this bottom watering system or they'll just go into maybe those two and a half gallon buckets that are empty. But you can definitely 
extend your season in Maryland Zone 7 with the greenhouse. You can be successful growing greens. They should, you know, continue to do well, maybe into mid November, mid, um, sorry, mid December. Um, and I'm sort of just learning what the temperatures are like here. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you give a greenhouse a chance. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my other YouTube videos. Thanks.